have a friend. Ain't that nice? Yeah. What day you going? Um. Probably within the next couple of days. I'm not sure uh, yet. So. What you do to your hair? I like your scarf. Oh, I just tied it up like this. My hair is just yeah. braided. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're right now. You got to put it. Yeah. Yeah, bring it back around a little bit to the left because it was in. Yeah. I, I wish I could learn how to tie them. They was just you said turn that around, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she still put, put them aside. Right. She wears all hers all day. Uh, She's a vet. Uh, um, Miss Song, you still some, got her? A, a farmer's trunk. Miss uh, Song, you still got her hair done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kept it up? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's good. She, she used to get her hair done all the time. Mm -hmm. But she was the one, she had so much of hair, it would almost run her crazy. Mm. Really? Yeah, she used to have a, uh, you know, like wake up. Come on, come on. There's something in my face, Mom. <laughs> she was a little good. And the, the lady said I have a long, it didn't really help by cutting it. Mm -hmm. Because it grew back thicker. Mm. Right. Yeah. Right. And with, um, the oldest girl, when she was little, I, uh, my husband had to take her to a barber shop and get a haircut. Mm. The pediatrician was upset. He said, because she's not growing. Mm. Mm -hmm. She was real small. Mm -hmm. And so they cut, he said, I want, she said, I want the husband to take her. Mm -hmm. So they cut her hair, but it still come back. Now she still got that hair. Now she wear her hair natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. And she still got all that hair. Cause I asked her if she want to get her hair fixed, and she said, you "No, know, she kind of like it the way it is." Yeah. Cause she braided and she take it loose. Yeah. And she said, "Let it go with the other one." Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah mm -hmm. So if we leave, we just had to come see you. But we coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. What y'all been up to this week? Just y'all look like y'all been up to some adventure. <laughs> no, not really. Just sitting at the park. It. Just he just keep fixing on the van. Yeah. I had to do a tune up. I, I, I changed the spark plugs, the distributor cap. I did the mm -hmm. oil change mm -hmm. and put new wires in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And still got to do know, some more stuff. On, uh, yeah, he he been teaching me actually. That's right. He been doing pretty good. And the one day he's gonna have your own struggle bucket. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go, with, go wrong with you. All you gotta do, my like mom, mom used <laughs> her car was stopped and the battery be dead and the tire get flat. She go down, pump that thing. For up. real? Yeah, honey. Put it, remove that tire. Put her trunk, the tire head in that trunk. Put your tire on. Yeah. If she know how to, if she could just, only thing I think would, she would beat her, you know, the water line. Mm -hmm. I think it started leaking one day. She, I don't think she could get that, but she would. She would try to fix her, the car yeah. herself? Wow. That sounds like your grandma. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, Granny ain't messing with her. She going to fix a roof or yeah, yeah. build a closet or something. But oh, she, yeah. Grand, oh, she gonna get gran my grandma redid her whole house. Her, she's a good carpenter. Mm, that's good. No, yeah. She don't fall, you know. She know how and to she, some stuff, On too. ladders. Yeah, yeah, she be climbing she on stairs. ladders and stuff. She, yeah, she made a basement. She made a basement. She made the wall. Did she tear down that wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just redid everything. Time. She knows what she's doing. She, yeah, no, she, she didn't. She's using the sawzall. I don't think she should be using the sawzall. She using it. Doctor told me. I bet I get up on another ladder. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of things you can tell me not to do. He didn't want me to babysit. Oh, for real? I said, how you going to do that? He said, you know, in the way you're going to get tired one of these days. Baby, he told me a long time ago. See, I didn't know I had heart trouble because when I was working, so I didn't think about that. You know, when you're working, you know, I just thought I was tired. Right. I had to, I had to lift patients. I had to walk them. Big men like him, you had to walk them. Yeah. Then when you had surgery and the thing, you couldn't lay down. Mm. You rested for a while. But every day you had to get up and walk yeah. because, see, you can catch infection, quit being in one place. Right. You get pneumonia, 
and people bringing stuff in. They used to then allow folks to visit. Mm. Really? Yeah, when they, when they special. They get sick from the people. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Mm. And that's another so thing weak. I tried. Oh, we have a lot of sick people. And folks always, they be want to go just to be nosy. I know who it is, but I worked in the hospital a long time. Mm-hmm. And I told them, I said, I want to tell y'all something. I said, my, I, I learned from the doctors. Stop visiting folks. You might bring something back with you and you might leave something. Mm. Sick folks can make you sick. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then you don't want to be uh, visiting nobody real sick, no way. Because you see, they already under a lot of pressure because they don't want to be home. They, especially women and men like to get up and go. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did they use for like sickness back in the day? But they, uh, uh, it was a, a cleansing. Uh-huh. It was a, um, it was a brown soap we had to use. And then we had a red soap that we used. Uh-huh. And then we had to keep them clean. Mm-hmm. We had to bag all of their laundry. And we had to, everything we used for them, we have to, they got the thing. You seen a plastic bag drape over the thing, put the linen oh, in. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they got that also for, I work in isolation. You have to, you have to dress out. Mm-hmm. Oh, Close yeah. And Everything. Then you have to wear these uh, clothes like that you see the surgeons wear. Mm-hmm. Over, these those scrubs. Then they got a long coat, but it got a lot of plastic on the water. Just then couldn't, couldn't claim to it. Really? Mm-hmm. They had some uh, throwaways, and then they had some of the laundry. And mm-hmm. what we have to do is uh, it sit on the inside of the patient room. We get ready to wash your, you get ready to wash your hands. Mm-hmm. And with gloves on, you wash your hands with the gloves on, and then take them off and wash your hands. Mm. Oh. Uh-huh. Hold on. So see, you got to get them off your fingers, and then sometimes you right. forget okay. to get to take the gloves oh, off. Oh yeah. So okay. I, <laughs> it, it's a fun. We had nurse. Mm-hmm. We just thought it was funny, but I I learned, you know, when I had to work in isolation. I tell you, I worked with so many people, especially. Young young men mm-hmm. with AIDS and stuff. Mm. Really? Yeah. Back then? Yeah. Mm. Grown up too. In Georgia? Yeah, in Tampa. And Tampa? Yeah, in Tampa. I went at what that Tampa hospital general. in mm-hmm. Tampa twenty nine years. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I kept I one time I caught that new morning. I never so sick from a patient. For real? Yeah. This patient I don't know what happened to her. I don't know if she was the one that her husband shot. But see, if you if you get a, like if you sit down, any part of you gets so. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of women with uh, cancer too, but this mm. particular lady had a big big hole. I think he did that on this shot, and uh, you could put your fist in there, so what? you had to. What you have to do, you have to set up the whole area. And this have to be table right where you can work on. It couldn't be too high, too low. And uh, when you put the cover on it, the cover had to test the flow. Mm-hmm. And then you, you put all the other stuff, everything you see in the green paper they use in, uh, they have green cloths to mm-hmm. spread it out because they come up sterile. You come sterile, and then you have to line up everything, every instrument that you had to use. And you had to be careful. We what we had to do when the even when the doctors washed their hands, we had to hold the glove for him to stick his hand in. Mm-hmm. He couldn't touch he couldn't touch the glove. The only the inside was it get contaminated. Right. And then we there he be tugging, I said, push your hand <laughs> Then we had to uh tie him when he put on that, it's a wraparound coat, it's surgery wear, and you had the time. Mm-hmm. Then he'd be done wash his hand, 